De Neil Tennant and also Derek Jarman, the film director who works closely with the band, about his new exhibition, which opens in Manchester tomorrow. But first, the Pet Shop Boys. Everybody knows the story of the Pet Shop Boys. Neil Tennant from Newcastle, Chris Lowe from Blackpool bump into each other in a West End music store. Neil invites Chris back to his place to look at his new synthesizer. The rest, as they say, is history. When you work in music and it suddenly takes off, it seems like a miracle. Um, that, you, that you feel a slight detachment, you can't really believe it's happening to you. I think you only really appreciate it when a bit of time has elapsed. Um, you know, now it seems amazing to me how Western Girls became a hit. The Pet Shop Boys were in town for their one British concert of the year as part of the Hacienda's 10th birthday celebrations. The first day is a great space, you know, it's a, really, it's a really great place to come to. And it's, it has a quite different atmosphere from a London club, which is what I like about it as well. Um, so I think, I mean, it's one of the great nightclubs of the world, you know, um, the Hacienda. I mean, because, you know, we travel quite a lot and go to a lot of clubs and uh, you can always rely on having a good time at the Hacienda. Also having a good time at the Hacienda was film director Derek Jarman. His films accompanied the concert on Wednesday. His new exhibition opens at the City Art Gallery tomorrow. The subject of the exhibition is AIDS and the tabloid reaction to it, a subject about which Jarman knows a great deal. He has the disease and took the brave step of making that information public. I don't think it was brave. I think it was necessary for my own self-respect, quite honestly. I, I, I think people would have known because I've had to have told someone and it's not the sort of thing that people uh, uh, keep secret. I mean, everyone knew Freddie Mercury had, you know, was HIV positive years and years ago. Uh, the worst that could have happened would be that it, I would have been uninsurable for my filmmaking. As it was, a special charity screening of Jarman's latest film raised money for people living with HIV and AIDS in the Northwest. Any money left over from the Pet Shop Boys concert was heading the same way, though the boys themselves were absent from the Freddie Mercury benefit at Wembley. I was very mixed about very high profile benefit concerts because I know from within the music industry that they're used as a, as a, in a purely marketing way by the music industry. At the same time, they are also totally sincere. Sincere isn't always the first word that springs to mind about the Pet Shop Boys. Ironic usually is. Then again, all great artists are sometimes misunderstood. I always think irony in us are very over-exaggerated. I mean, we have written ironic songs, but we've written tons of very sincere songs, but I guess they're not the sort of soundbite songs, and we, you know, we do have a sense of humour. Well, the Pet Shop Boys have been and gone, but if you're looking for some good ideas this weekend, look no further than our new leisure guide.